okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and do a message for you if you are dealing with a scorpio now this is a general reading so the scorpio could be anybody to you virgos okay take what resonates and leave the rest guys if any time there's anything in the reading that does resonate with you do hit that thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you know when i upload for more information for personal readings and donations to the channel will also be below. So let's get into this for my Virgos that are dealing with a Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? The first thing I heard was split. So I don't know if this is a Scorpio that you are separating from. Um, I just heard split. Maybe they have a split personality. Who doesn't these days? <laughs> All right, give me two cards. My Virgo is dealing with a Scorpio. A card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo is dealing with a Scorpio. What is the energy here? Thank you. Whoa, messy. Give me another card. For going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Go with the flow. Dreamy. Oh, bottom of the deck. We have magic, though. So coming out sideways, you have solitude. Now, any card that comes out sideways is a blockage. Now, I don't know, Virgos, if you just want to be alone, <laughs> right? I don't know if some of you just don't want to deal with this Scorpio right now. Maybe you just want some space, right? Hermit energy. But it's a blockage. It's almost like you can't get any space maybe from this person. So let's see. Or this person doesn't want you to be on your own, right? But we'll see. What is the Solitude card from our Virgos dealing with a Scorpio? Solitude. Yeah, look at that. I almost heard. I don't know if some of you are hiding from this Scorpio. We'll see what the second card. Wow, some of you married to this person. <laughs> oh, but you're not hiding from your spouse, are you? So you have free yourself. It says a time... It's time to take back control of your life. So is this why you want to be alone? Do you feel like this Scorpio is a little bit controlling, overpowering? A little bit needy, kind of codependent energy? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. So what is go with the flow? wants to come it wants to come okay so it says religious factors it said your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so hmm i was gonna say and you have reconciliation at the bottom of the decks now i was gonna say is there a difference between what you and this scorpio believes because there's something here that's different. There's something here that um, it says going with the flow. So I don't know. Maybe someone here is experiencing, not experience, maybe exploring different avenues or different religions or something different here. Go with the flow. Now, for some of you here, I don't know if there's a Virgo here or vice versa where there's a Scorpio that's kind of pressuring somebody into marriage. This is, this is the traditional way to do it, right? Tradition. And somebody's just like, hey, let's just go with the flow. We don't need to do all of that. We don't need to be signing papers. We don't need to be rushing and getting married, right? Why can't we just see what happens? Divine timing, right? So, what is this solitude, free yourself, and wedding? Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. So, 
we have privileged lady coming out here. Now, for some of you, I heard this Scorpio may be spoke. That may be a behavior of theirs, right? Yeah, wow, 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 I'm the baby. Could be someone who likes their own way. This may be someone who has real nice things, right? Used to the nice life. Could be. Hmm, okay. We'll see what comes out in the tarot. What is this religious factors? <clears throat> My Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. Expectation. I see false person at the bottom of the deck. So interesting that we have magic. At the bottom of that deck and false person at the bottom of that deck. I'm sure that is a message for some of you here. But let's see what the solitude is. Let's see the empress, the hermit. Five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So solitude. What is this three yourself? There's a five of swords. So maybe there's a lot of arguing in this situation. Maybe you find it a little bit difficult to kind of be on the same page as this Scorpio here. The Five of Swords, and like I said, I saw the Five of Wands, and now we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. It can be like a lot of mind games, a lot of lies, a lot of pettiness, right? Tick for tack kind of energy. It feels like almost arguments every day, but what are the arguments about? I don't know. I don't even know if you guys know, right? It just feels very petty. The Hermit, the Three of Swords, the King of Swords, and Nine of Swords. That's the Ten of Swords. There's some betrayal here. There's some kind of information here that was found out or that was heard here that has hurt someone. So I don't know. Five of Swords. Why is it here? What is the Five of Swords? Three of Pentacles, okay, so that could talk about a third party situation, right? This could talk about it being in a friend group. What is the Five of Swords here? But even with that Five of Wands, it's an energy of too many people involved here. Nine of Cups, okay, someone may drink quite a bit here. This is, um, what is this Five of Swords? Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio, thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the four of pentacles and we have the death card. Now, whatever this five of swords energy is, right? And it's funny because the, the death card is Scorpio energy. Whatever this five of swords energy is, it may have caused some kind of an ending here. Um, or it's, it's wanting somebody to want to end something and walk away. Four of pentacles is an energy of holding back. What are they trying to show me? Hmm. Empress, four of wands, six of wands, and the chariot. Who again, this energy with a divine intervention. I, 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 there's a lot of um, you guys where your ancestors and angels are really stepping up and, and um, getting in the middle of things. What is this four of pentacles? Four pentacles can be my penny pinching card, right? Somebody here may not want you to leave Virgo because they may be worried about how it will affect their finances, especially if you have been somebody who has kind of been spoiling this person, like I said. The six of pentacles, they are worried. And look at that, that's the six and the four is the ten of pentacles. This is somebody who is worried about, like I said, I don't know if you gave this person money or helped them out financially or looked after them or, I don't know, I'm hearing the breadwinner. So, I don't know, I feel like if you leave this person, they are worried. Look at that, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like if you leave this person, they're going to be worried about they're not going to be able to have the Ten of Pentacles anymore. Well, that's nice. So what does this go with the flow? I don't even want to clarify that. <laughs> what is the go with the flow? Thank you, spirit. This religious factor and expectations. For my Virgos dealing with a Scorpio, what is the energy here? The Hermit. 
okay this is about reflecting this is also about deep introspection right now again someone here now it doesn't have to be i'm just giving an example guys this could be an energy of you know what someone was grew up um let's say in the church their whole life right that's what they know christianity or whatever muslim whatever and then maybe they come across spirituality maybe tarot readings things like that and it kind of resonates with them and they wonder how do these people know that and how and how this and that and how and that right it may have caught their interest somebody here may be questioning something again they're just taking in some information maybe they're questioning themselves Maybe you said something, Virgo, that made this person kind of think. The Hermit card. Wisdom, knowledge. Why is the Hermit here? Page of Cups. Oh, excuse my stomach. Page of Cups. Now that is talking about somebody coming in with an apology here. And the lovers at the bottom of the deck. But we'll see. What is the hermit? Thank you. The eight of pentacles. Okay. Now the eight of pentacles is usually about work. Again, the hermit with the eight of pentacles. Somebody's very skilled at what they do. Or somebody has... I almost want to say... Um, knowledge. <laughs> But that's not what I wanted to say. Virgos, you could do something for work. Maybe you do something like I do, right? Whatever you do, you're skilled at it. This is what this is saying. The Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Show me more. I think this may have to be my last one for today. You girl got to go eat. I'm going to go eat. eat. <laughs> what is the Hermit? Thank you. The Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups, I don't know if this is somebody who is kind of saying, hey, I don't know, is Virgo my wish fulfillment here? The Eight of Pentacles. What is the Eight of Pentacles, Spirit? Ooh, the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So again, with this work, I don't know if you speak some kind of truth with the Queen of Swords, right? The Queen of Swords is very clear. She's very direct. And that is what she expects. She delivers the truth. You have the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands. I don't know if you spoke up about something about the past here. Or this is somebody that is coming towards you to speak their truth from your past. Maybe wanting to have a new beginning here with you. The Ace of Wands doesn't have to be a romantic new beginning, right? Like I said, this could be family members, this could be friends. But let's see if we can get one card. Oh, this has something to do with a business. Maybe you said something. Oh, no. It's almost like, I feel like I almost wanted to say like a prediction. I don't know, maybe some of you predicted something that has come true now. What is the Eight of Pentacles? What is the Eight of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. The Page of Pentacles. Now that's the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like somebody may want to come in and give you an offer or some kind of apology or bring you some kind of a gift here. Three of Cups can talk about reunited and it feels so good, but what's behind it? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. You see, because now that is the Four of Cups, I feel like someone here doesn't want to miss an opportunity here with you Virgos. There's the apology. I'm sorry. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the lovers. Okay. Now I'm a little bit curious. I want to see what is this magic and false person? Let's see if spirit can show me. What is a magic and false person? My Virgo is dealing with a Scorpio. What is this energy? Ace of Wands. I don't know. Somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning, but let's see. Ace of Wands talks about, I don't know why. I've heard other people say, and it does kind of look like a, a man's genital 
um, area, right? But let's see what is the Ace of Wands with this magic and false person. Thank you, Spirit. The Eight of Wands, now that's the Nine of Wands. Show me more. Oops. Seven of Wands in reverse. Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, you may have been dealing with a Scorpio that is was trying to stop you. See, it was coming out sideways, okay? Wow, six of wands at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, you may have been dealing with a Scorpio here that was trying to stop you from moving forward to new opportunities here, right? It was a blockage. They don't want the new opportunity to come in for you. They don't want you to have this stable offer. They don't want you to move on for some of you here, right? Ace of wands with the eight of wands, it's almost this energy of putting energy on somebody where, hey, you can't be bothered to move forward, right? The nine of wands, that wounded warrior energy. But then you have the seven of wands in the reverse. Now in the upright, this is about having your defenses up. In the reverse, this is about, again, you not having the energy to do something. So I don't know why I'm getting this energy of somebody maybe being sick or something like that, right? That definitely would take down your energy and not give you the motivation to move on to success. Look at that. I can't make this shit up, right? And you have the chariot right behind it, the moon card. And then the five of cups with the nine of swords and the tower. I feel like for some of you, you're going to move on anyway. Uh-huh. I feel like for some of you, you're going to move on anyway. So let's get the advice and let's close out this reading. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have? What advice do we have? For my Virgos that are dealing with a Scorpio. It says, use loving strength and discernment. It says, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be a Christ. I would not be Christ's servant. Now, it's funny that we have that religious factor here out here, right? Someone, I don't know, there could be someone here, like I said, if you're spiritual or whatever, someone may be saying, hey, do you know what? I believe in what I believe in. There you go. There are my boys. Someone here may be saying, I believe in what I believe in, right? And I don't care what anybody has to say. My faith is my faith, whether that be Christianity, whether that be spirituality, whether you be Muslim, whatever you be, right? Buddhism. But standing your ground and you saying my faith is my faith because you know that you trust and have faith in the Most High, you believe. Why would you be worried about any living being? You know your purpose. You know why you're here. Someone here is sticking to their ground. And that in itself is showing strength. That in itself is showing courage. So that's what I have for you, Virgos, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, guys. Anything can really have resonated with you. Hit that thumbs up for me. Share these videos. Subscribe, guys. But if this is where we part, then stay safe, love and light.